Hello artists and welcome back to another virtual art lesson. Can you guess what we might be drawing today? Hmm. We are going to be drawing one of my favorite characters ever, Rapunzel herself, Flynn Rider, my good friend Pascal here, okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you Rapunzel and Flynn, and you'll have to check out the bonus video to learn how to draw Pascal, okay? Before we get started, let's say our artist motto so we are ready to go. I use my head and I use my heart to create amazing art. So to start with Rapunzel, make an oval in the center of your paper. Remember, we are sketching lightly. Don't press hard on your pencil. Just like for onward, put a vertical and horizontal guideline through the middle of the face. Now you can start to shape her cheeks. You're going to indent the one side and then draw her chin. Her ear lines up with your horizontal guideline. Rapunzel has pretty big eyes, so we want some pretty large circles on either side of that guideline. They're not perfect circles though, they're almost an egg shape with the point turned towards the center line. To make Rapunzel's nose, start with a small oval, which you can then turn into the bottom of her nose. She has a very curved nose bridge. That's the line that goes up through the middle of her face between her two eyes. You can start to add her eyelashes. These look like one dark line at the top of her lid. Shade in the bottom of that nose. So she kind of has these playful eyebrows. One is slightly upturned because she's kind of curious. Draw half circles for her eyes, a highlight and a pupil. You're going to give Rapunzel kind of a smirk towards the bottom of her mouth. There's about an even space between her mouth to her nose and her mouth to her chin. They really only draw the bottom lip on her. The upper lip is very thin. Then you can turn those corners up a little bit to make her look a little sassy. Now, she has a very strong cowlick or swoop in the front of her hair. It folds over itself. She's got a lot of hair. We're drawing her at the beginning of her adventure. The back of her head isn't perfectly round. That's the line I drew there that's almost pointed. And then you can just draw these big swoopy lines over the ear, over the side of the face. Take it all the way down to the edge of your paper. Draw in her neck and shoulders. It's not super thin, about the width of her chin, I suppose. This is really only a portrait from the shoulders up. You can start to add lines in the hair. Go in and shade some things that you want to shade. And you can always leave this a pencil sketch if you want. We can see Rapunzel's collarbones. Those are two gentle horizontal lines. 
And you can just draw the suggestion of a sleeve. She has poofy little sleeves with lace. All right, so my camera quit on me. I lost the recording of doing her hair, but I showed you the three markers I used, a light brown, a golden yellow, and a very bright yellow. So that's what I used in her hair. And then um, I am doing two colors of pencil for her skin. That's Rapunzel. For Flynn Rider, we're going to start with another circle. A larger circle if you want. And then I sketched in his neck. Now I made a lot of changes to the shape of his head but this is still a good place to start. You want to begin to figure out where his ear might go and really square off that chin. He has a very strong chin. Our guidelines will help us place the features. You can see I added an eyebrow and then begin to draw his nose. It's a very sharp triangle and it actually has a little bump in it which I think is pretty cool. So it's not perfectly straight. Now I realized I did not like that eyebrow and I had to go back and erase it. I decided to do the other one first and not as thick as our characters from onward but still a pretty strong eyebrow and then I placed his eye and you can really see the corner the inner corner of his eye so that's what that little line is there and now I am figuring out where his cheek goes See how it's not as far out as my original guideline? That's okay. His eyes are almost half closed. So I drew the top and bottom lid and placed the circle inside. Flynn has a very sharp brow bone, that's why it sticks out and then goes back in towards his forehead. So I drew that there and then I started to play around with his hair. He's got kind of a shaggy haircut, so it overlaps over his ear and he has a sideburn that comes out from underneath. And he also has a little swoopy cowlick, some bangs up there. I think it's kind of cool that he and Rapunzel have that same kind of thing. His hair is sort of a middle part. It matches that guideline we drew, the vertical one. And then you can kind of map out the rest of his hair and he has some bangs that really fall down in the front there. Flynn has a high collar on his vest so that is going to touch up with his hair along the back of his neck and then slant diagonally down. I drew the fold in it just like in Barley from Onward and then I drew the other side. It's a nice high collar. is also smirking and I changed the shape of his mouth just a little bit. You're going to just draw the sort of shadow that would go under his lip 
not his whole lip. And then I made his chin just a little longer and added his goatee. He's really done at this part. It's just a matter of shading and erasing guidelines and you have Flynn Rider. To outline Flynn's hair, I'm using a couple different browns. A sort of regular medium brown for most of the lines, this reddish brown, and a tan to do highlights and lowlights. I also use tan to outline his skin, and I used blue for the blue. He's more tan than Rapunzel, so I used a light brown and a peach for his skin tone. And there you have him, Flynn Rider. All right, artists, so that is it. You have learned how to draw Rapunzel, Flynn, and Pascal. I can't wait to see what you share with me. I love seeing your artwork, and I hope you have a wonderful day, night, whatever it may be. I am Miss Kirk. You are you, and you're an amazing artist. See you next time.